Welcome everybody. It's me, Mechanic Dave. Um, it's snowing right now and I figure what better way to spend my time. Um, I figured let's go have some fun in the snow. Um, I'm incredibly bored as you can tell because it's nighttime. Uh, but it's snowing. There's, I don't know, a couple inches of snow on the ground, which is perfect for a lawnmower. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna revive Tankosaurus tonight. And hopefully drive him, do some donuts. He does have a steering issue. Um, I think the gear uh, skipped a tooth. So it's not really, oh Jesus Christ. There goes the phone, right into the snow. Oh. Jesus Christ. It's cheap Chinese tripod. Can't trust anything other than here. All right, so first things first, we just need to clear it off, all the snow off this thing. Oh. I think the seat can just, uh... yeah. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Put my flashlight away. Oh, good, perfect. Ah, battery is completely disconnected. But that's all right. Uh, wing nuts. So we just need to hook that up and uh, see. It should fire up. But the one thing I can't remember or guarantee is if there was any gas in this thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. You don't need to worry about getting any snow in your gas tank. Especially when there is no gas. All right. I would, uh, I could see that making it hard to run an engine, an internal combustion engine at least. You, you need fuel for that. So we're going to find fuel, hook up uh, the everything, and see if the shit will fire up and stay idle. All right. Oh, we've gotten fuel now. All right. We got some gasoline from the 2021 safety can. Kind of stupid, but whatever. Well, you see, you don't just pour and go. There's always something. All right, get that out of the way. There's not a whole lot in here. I would be surprised if there's more than a gallon. It does, definitely feels like there's a gallon. It's a little bit heavier than milk, gasoline. Drink up, you dirty whore. Yes. All of it. The whole can. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, shit. I dropped the gas cap. No. Oh, good. It landed the right way. All right. We have gas. All right. So we have the battery hooked up. There's gas in the motor. Let's see if we have ugh, the switches. Oh, we got we got 12 volts. All right. Definitely want to take it out of gear. Okay. Oh man. So it should put this on crank. Oh no. All right, so she's not entirely happy. So, all right, we'll see what we can't do here. You know, maybe we'll try and get this thing running next. All right, so we got the uh, never start uh, jump pack. And as you can tell, all right, right now it's full. So we're gonna go out there and try and start this fucker. Oh, and I honestly can't think of uh, a reason why I should be doing this. Normal people would go and buy a snowmobile um, but we're not that smart yet. We're getting there, but we're not that smart. So, oh, all right. Maybe put some actual, uh, voltage to this thing. Maybe it'll start. All right. Never start is hooked up. Let's turn to the on position. All right. Just hooking it up. We're already down to medium power. So let's see. <laughs> This thing's a piece of crap, honestly. 
Like, how can you be so useless? All right. We have the Mustang battery out here now with some jumper cables hooked right up to it. So hopefully now, Jesus Christ, really? Why can't I ever have any electricity ever? Once again, just trying to figure out why wouldn't I just buy a snowmobile? So I figured Tankosaurus is all the way over there. This is right here. This has proven cranking power. Ooh, hello. We'll, put you, we'll just put you aside. <laughs> this has proven cranking power. So I think we're gonna gas this thing up, dig this thing out and get her on over there. Obviously we're gonna have to drive over some uh, logs and stuff, but that's just how it is. So there is just a little bit of snow in the gas tank, but I think the gasoline will dissolve that. Um, whether or not that's gonna be an issue later, I don't really care. All right, we have the lifeblood installed. Now it's time to see if she'll fire. Right, so we do have fuel in there. It's a little cloudy. I'm just gonna blame uh, it's cold, but I mean, it's getting there. So it should start any, any second now. We'll get a full choke again. Come on, sweetie. Come on. You know you want to. Full throttle. Let's see what that does. Nothing. All right. I think we're going to have to go for some spray spray. Oh, that's the wrong kind of spray spray. Oh, that's the... Boy, lack in supplies. This is the right kind of spray spray, but there is not a ton left. Well, it's a good thing I'm going to use all of it. I thought about using that can. It's empty. There's a reason it was outside. Ugh, so now we got to take... Ah, oh, you whore. There's not just a hole I can spray, really? I didn't... Ugh, I don't want to have to use tools and effort. Ugh, please, use my strong hand. Nope. Ah, oh, you fucker. I think, though... I think... I think if I spray it in there, right in that side, like that, pretty sure... That'll do nothing. But there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna turn the fucking e-brake on, so I don't have to keep holding it. All right. Choke. Come on. You can do it! Ugh. Damn. I'm actually gonna have to do something. I fucking love these things. The snap-on, like needle nose, adjustable fucking pliers of amazingness is what I call them. They're perfect. Ah, oh, damn it, a little bit more. They have a cutting edge on them. They're very grippy. The sizes expand wasn't stupid expensive. It was only like 70 bucks. <laughs> All right, don't lose that. Oh, oh beautiful. Put you aside. I think we're gonna have to take the air filter off and just spray it straight into its hole. It should fire then, I hope. If it doesn't fire then, well, I don't really know what I'm going to do at that point. I'm just going to start doing things until things happen. And that's usually when things break. But, you know, we can't all be fucking winners. Oh, yeah. It, it went in there. So where is this stuff? Flammable. Extremely flammable. All right. I'm just going to slide that back on just so... Shit doesn't fall in there, and, uh, I don't know, let's just 
put that there for right now. I don't feel like bolting it on because I don't know if it's going to work. me man oh the reliable craftsman is not firing damn okay just a little bit of quick diagnosing i undid the filter and emptied it out it was a bunch of little bits of speckeds i don't know if you can see it and then plug it pick it back up that's not really pulling any fuel so I'm wondering if the uh, pump that's bolted, that's a part of the carburetor is frozen up. So she ain't gonna start today, I don't think. I probably need a new carburetor anyways. I, I can only clean it so much, you know? Um, unfortunately, the fucking LT isn't gonna run. But with any hope, maybe, we can get the fucking MTD started. And I hope so, because I just filled that gas tank. And I don't want to be doing anything for nothing. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, it pulled fuel. All right, it did something. I think our problem was we had a plug in the line or something. Ugh. Give her some more juice. And hope uh, we can get her going. Yeah. Come on now. Just... Useless. Come on, baby. Oh, just a cough, even. Okay. Let's get more start. We got a fresh can. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of action on that one. Right in the carburetor. Not happy, but. It ain't about you, Carl. Come on, just run, just run. Is it pulling any more fuel? I don't know. Cover up the hole real quick. Getting it going on starting fluid, draining the filter out, and just trying to pull all the shit through it as I can. So we're just trying to run it mostly on brake clean.
She's idling under her own power now. Um, hasn't really been running since um, we uploaded that big mud video with it. At that point, it was run completely bone dry out of fuel, which is why it clogged the filter up real nice. Uh, sounds like I need more welding up front on that pipe, but let's see. I'm amazed it ran, but how does it, how do I get zero distance? I mean, I've got good tires. It started chugging along. It does not sound happy, but why? This, this thing's got knobby tires and a hydrostatic. It's supposed to be unstoppable and mint. What a piece of junk. So after seeing just how terrible our good mutter does in the snow, I don't think Tankosaurus is going to have any much better luck given it's on essentially slicks. It's on turf savers. Um, and dad, I apologize. Uh, this did not save your turf, but it's okay. It's only the top layer. The lawn was cruddy anyways. Um, I'm not feeling too motivated to go over and start Tachosaurus now that, uh, well, we got the LT-1000 running, unconsensually, I might add, and it proved just how awful it does <laughs> just in the snow, but I can't, I just, what a piece of junk. That thing looks really cool, and it does all right on regular terrain, but... It's a, it's still just a lawnmower. <sighs> yeah, so that's the story on why people buy snowmobiles. <laughs> <laughs>